Well, how's it going everyone? I'm back to my old self. I'm past this sickness and I'm ready to do some digital outdoorsy things. Though I wish I could be doing outdoorsy things outdoors. Um, we've all been over that. But today we're doing something pretty cool, I think at least. Of all the bass species in Fishing Planet, there is one bass I think is like the coolest and that is the speckled peacock bass this thing is beautiful and not only that but it gets really big if you've seen videos of people fishing um down in south america these things can get massive and i just you know i hope i can get after one someday because they looked so cool but thankfully we can go after these guys at blue crab island and thanks to our good friend cj the all-rounder on the uh bz hub discord and of course if you've seen him in our chats during the streams he thinks he has figured out just how to get these guys and we're going to put that to the test today so if you're looking forward to catching your own unique speckled peacock bass make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already pack your tackle boxes and let's get into it everyone Alrighty, so we are here in Blue Crab Island, and you can see we uh we are well we're not where we usually are. I can't show you because I'm right here in the driver's seat, and it just changes the radar map. All right, let me bring up the map here. I'll show you what we're looking for. It's all these winding rivers you can see. Uh, this is where we usually catch all those saltwater fish, which Blue Crab is widely known for. But there is all this freshwater stuff as well. And what he has shown us is that he has had good luck catching unique speckled peacock bass um, in these deep little sections along the rivers here on partly cloudy days. So what we're going to be doing is going along to these different spots here, seeing if we can get lucky. And we are going to be using the best rod in the game, as uh, as shown by me. Uh, and what he has been using is these 5 aught uh, major poppers, one and a half ounces there. But we can also try buzz baits. We've got buzz baits as well. Um, but that's what he's been catching them on. So we're gonna make our way around here. We've also, we're, I'll show you, we're also fishing on this day, which can be confusing because this is a uh, partly cloudy day. But this is when we uh, seem to be catching all the speckled peacock bass. So we're gonna be moving our way over here. I've marked uh, the middle section of this deep water here. Um, it's kind of on the outside of this curve. So we're gonna be getting a little bit closer to the side here. And then just casting towards this marker here. I, lo I love to put markers down if I need to see exactly where deep water is. It can be really helpful. So we are going to just toss along this edge here. See if we get lucky with a speckled peacock. I, uh, I think the speckled peacock are, are beautiful, honestly. And I honestly couldn't tell you if I've got a unique in the game. Oh, oh, that looked like a bowfin to me. I don't know if that was a speckled peacock. You can see with this popper, we are just casting out steady retrieve. And then I am just clicking, right clicking every so often. Get a little rhythm there. A little click, click. Get that pop just right. Uh, and by just right, I mean two star, since I can never seem to manage a three star. See, that's a bowfin. It has to be. It has to be a bowfin. If we could hook up on him, I'd be able to show you. Oh, now that was a speckled peacock. What are you doing there, bud? <laughs> what a wild fish. <laughs> he, came, he came up and then he, it was like he closed his eyes and was just kind of wildly swiping. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Try this again. Ooh, boy, something came up quick and tried to grab that. It looks small though, which might be why it wasn't able to hook up. It wasn't too much bigger than the lure we were using. That darn guy in his airplane again. Ruining my fishing days. He scared all the fish away. Oh, it's a bowfin, man. He's bowfin, I'm telling you what. Okay, well, we don't seem to have, be having much luck here. Maybe we'll uh, move on down to the other spot. See, there's so many fish here, but there's nothing biting. It's just wild. Well, you can really open your boat up on those straightaways. That was kind of cool. Now, fine to go fast. Alrighty, let's see what we can do here. It's so funny because I have, uh, you know, I have the big Congo boat that has the rod holders on it. It is just not as much fun to drive as these bass boats. 
And so if I'm not planning on doing some like fishing from the from the boat where I even need to use a rod holder, man, I would much rather use one of these bass boats. You've got to be joking me. Another peacock bat or another freaking bowfin. I'd love to say another freaking peacock bass. Oh, what a monster. What? <laughs> oh, look at that. Starting us off with a trophy peacock. That's awesome. Oh, these guys are cool. 13, uh, almost 14 pounds. Our first bass out here. So these spots aren't too bad, I'm telling you. Give them a try. I'll show you exactly where we are so you can, uh, you can see. But we are not, we are ending this video until we get a unique, everybody. We're right here at this top corner right here. I have marked the very end of, uh, of the deep spot. That way we can fish along the entire thing. I'm just casting right past it. And then I'll uh, bring it right back through it. Give the uh, give the old peacock, give the old peacock a chance to come and grab it. It's so funny because sometimes you know there'll be a big you know uh, wave or something kind of showing you that the fish is incoming and gonna come grab it here soon or something like that. And other times they just come out of nowhere and just snatch it from you and run off with it. It's so funny because I uh, just the fish. They just think it's just a, just a bite, just a bite and a half. Come up and grab it. So excited. And then nothing. Then they get, then they get caught. Ha ha. Gotcha. Especially the bass. Ferocious as they are. They're so used to just going up and eating a, a fish at a hole and, and then just swimming back off to do whatever they want. Not today, bass. What is it wrong? Did you see that? What is going on right now? Woo, woo, woo. It's a big fish. <laughs> He's going off in the weeds. <laughs> that was so strange. Like a fish just like swam to the right, doing nothing. Who knows what it was doing? And then, uh, <laughs> and then there was a fish underneath the lure. All of a sudden, <laughs> oh, that was great. He's putting up a good fight. Come here, you. I'm chasing you down with the boat. Chasing you down with the boat. Come here. Come here. Let's go. That's what we're looking for. Unique speckled peacock bass, 2,700 bucks, 2,300 XP, which isn't bad, honestly. That's that's nice XP right there. 18 pounds. Uh, well, wait to money ratio. I mean, come on, 18 pounds for 2,700 bucks. I'll take that all day. Look at Heenail. Let's check him out. Oh, Heenail, looking snazzy there, bro. Looking good with your speckled peak. I gotta take a picture of this. I gotta take a picture. There we go. Part of fishing planet history right now. Top notch, everyone. Well, this was fun. Hopefully, this gives you a spot to come and check out these unique speckled peacock bass. I'll show you yet again exactly everything we've been you. I know you've probably seen it all. This is when you're clicking away. Before you click away, make sure you hit that like button. But right here, top corner of this uh this one, don't get confused by this one. This one up here, though this one might have them too. Who knows? Um, I'm gonna mark that last fish too. Um, oh, did we miss it? Oh, we. Oh, that was my one chance. Okay, well never mind. We'll catch another one some other time. And we were also using uh, this major popper here, uh, and on the best rod ever. And if you haven't seen the best rod ever video, then make sure you go and watch that one as well. Uh, but this was fun, everybody. Hopefully, you can come out here catch your own speckled peacock bass. We were, of course, fishing during the uh, the last hour of this particular day at Blue Crab. Um, but if uh, a, a speckled peacock bass is one that you're missing, make sure you go do that. You have this whole checklist now to make sure you've caught everything. So uh, we've got, yeah, we've got everything crossed out for the speckled peacock bass. Well, righto, everyone. Top notch. Well, like I said, hit the like button if you found this useful or fun in any way. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video, everyone. Oh, and by the way, if you want to join us in our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. Ton of fun. Love seeing everyone. Don't annoy me. That's my one rule. But we should have a good time, everyone. And I can't wait to see you at the next video. So take care. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family, game on.